All right, guys, so we're back. This is what we're going to be demolding today, minus these three. These three are still fresh, and I cannot demold these. The rest of them we will be demolding and see how they turn out. I'm going to go ahead and start with this piece. I don't know what shape you call this, but I really like it. It's pretty neat. You can kind of see the effects of how it worked. You see, I got a drop of white on the bottom. I just love this. This is just a pretty neat effect just on its own. So really want to see how this turns out. Just, uh, you know. Uh, it seems like the alcohol kind of made it stick a little bit to the, to the mold itself, but hey. Yeah. So already that is looking flipping wicked. Oh my gosh, I love this. I probably shouldn't have put quite as much in there, but that is still a pretty, pretty neat and wicked effect in this, and that's going to be a lovely piece. I think I might fill it in with some UV resin or something, I'm not sure, um, just because it does have a pretty good lip to it, and I don't want to really sand it down, but that is just wicked and awesome. I love it. Love it. Ah. All right, so here's the first one that I was doing in the video. We will demold this. Luckily, this is a very soft silicone mold. And look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my lordy, have mercy. That is just something else. Oh, my gosh. Again, I probably need to lighten up on how much white that I use. But that is still a really neat look, really neat effect. I think I will kind of get in and get some really close uh, shots for you guys of how these look. Because these are wicked. These are freaking awesome. So here's the fiery one. Let's see how this turns out. Ooh. I love it. I love it. I think I missed a tiny bit of glitter. Eh, it's okay. But I love that. That is just wicked. Did see this one? Yes, this one turned out much better than that one did because I didn't add quite as much color or as much white to it. So you can see a lot more of the white on this one than you can on this one. But that is still, and I love how that kind of turned out right there because I remember I had put at least a drop right here, but you see it just kind of, it, it, you know, it was like, nope, I'm not going there. I'm not doing that. I love it. Oh my goodness gracious. That is beautiful. So we're going to move on to this one. This one I did later take a toothpick and I swirled it around from a couple of different spots, you know, and then I just kind of swirled it a little bit extra. So there's kind of the back of it. It does have a nice little detail on the mold itself. This is one of those that are a little harder to get out. I don't particularly care too much for these plastic molds. 
I prefer the silicone. <laughs> but that's just me. Because I feel like I'm going to tear the silicone. I feel like I'm going to tear these plastic ones up. And I might end up doing that. Oh my goodness. And I'm getting white because of where that drop of white was. My goodness. It's like in there, guys. This is, this one's, oh my goodness. I found that works sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to give up on that one for right now. This is some that I had done separately. I used uh, glow pigments on these. So I've got a little bit of clean up, clean up on that one. I'd actually knocked one or two of these over. And so it kind of made a mess a little bit. But aside from the mess, they turned out pretty. They're very nice. They will glow in the dark. So I'm going to kind of charge it up a little bit for you. Too much light you can't see <laughs> i tried i tried so that was not so bad that it pulled off but it's pretty good and another one i really love these especially for right now being uh close to uh valentine's day this is another glow pigment uh just a blue i just wanted to do another solid coat teardrop now the only thing is with these glow pigments it seems like they don't want to break up all the way I don't know if you've got any experience with um, solar color dust glow pigments and you have figured out a way to get around this please let me know in the comment section I would really love to hear from you <laughs> so on this one you can see that I did do alcohol ink on it but if you look here it's got the same color as the blue and then down here it also has the same color as the pink so I actually poured the colored resin in there and I decided I wanted to try to do something different and see how it would turn out. So I'm kind of excited. I really want to see how this looks. Oh. That's a pretty neat effect. I mean, you know, you can't see quite as much, you know, because the pigments in there, but that is still, that's still fairly wicked. So you can't really see much of any of the purple that has come through to the front, but still, this pink right down here, that is wicked. You can see a little bit of blue. So I'm gonna have to do some more experiments with this um, later on, that's still pretty neat. I love that. All right, let me get some of this stuff out of the way a little bit. All right, since I'm having a hard time with that one, we're not going to do it. <laughs> I think I will probably demold that off camera and then just send you guys pictures. So with these right here, I did pour resin into these four. I already had some resin in those, so we're not going to demold those. Woo! Lord of mercy. I'm dropping stuff. Here we go. So you can kind of see through the molds how they turned out a little bit pretty neat uh, I really wanted to see how it was gonna look being that they're deeper and I did end up having to take my uh, toothpick and kind of push the color down because you can kind of see it's really concentrated right up on top it really did not want to come out um, and I'd actually made a little bit of a mess with my resin whoopsie um, so this one, I did, I think I pushed a little bit, but I did not push very much at all. But you can see it did kind of drop down. It almost looks like a little, um, a mushroom or a, um, uh, jellyfish or something. Pretty neat. So I don't have any, uh, soapy water with me. I may have to pause the video to go get some soapy water because these are always really difficult to get off without soap, soapy water. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the video and go get some soapy water. Alright, got my soapy water. I'm going to kind of scoot this out of the way a little bit. Get this here. And so all I'm going to do, just dip the top of it. Okay. That's it. And then as you kind of peel this off, that soapy water kind of gets in them cracks. So anybody who doesn't do this, doesn't know how to do this, I'm helping you out, guys. 
really, I can already tell a major difference. It's already moving so good. I can almost, yeah, see, there we go. Yay, I just gave birth. No, <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. The tip didn't get, <laughs> oh no. But that is still a freaking awesome effect. I love, I love these. I'm definitely going to have to do this more um, with these crystal molds. That is just, that, I, I, I can almost say that almost beats doing the Petri dish. It's just that the only difference is it's in a crystal mold. That is, oh my God, that is wicked. This one's going to be a difficult one, so I'm just kind of skipping it right now. So I'm just going to kind of get a little bit in there. We're going to hope and pray for the best. <laughs> All right. Swirl it around a little bit. I am trying to keep this video fairly short and sweet because since it's just having to do with resin, you know. Eh. <sighs> And I'm not sure if it's me or if it's my channel or it's uh, who watches my videos or what. I don't seem to have a, a big, huge, um, a lot of people liking uh, my resin videos. I like them, especially I'm about to demold these three right here. Can't wait. Oh, let's see. I think it's just about ready. Let's see. Not quite. doesn't quite want to get down in there all the way. Now it's getting down in there. Oh yeah. You can hear it squishing. <laughs> ah, it's moving now. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, come on. There we go. So I could have used more resin here at the top. It's flaking off. Oof. Come on. There we go. There we go. So that is a pretty neat effect. I think I did take my my toothpick and dunk it down in there. Which, eh, again, an air bubble. But that still looks wow. That still is a pretty daggum neat looking, uh, looking mold right there. That's pretty daggum neat. So this one, again, did do the whole, um, uh, uh, toothpick thing to it, you know, got a lot of ink on the top of my pieces, uh, and I totally didn't mean to. Okay, I'm trying to just kind of get the soapy water in there pretty well. This one's going to be hard to there we go. Alright. Sorry about that. Oh, looky, it's soapy. It's bubbly. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see. There we go. Now we got some movement. There we go. Yay. And look at that. I mean, could have gone down further, but that's still, that, that side definitely looks a lot better than that side does, but that still is a wicked look. Again, you know, didn't have enough at the top, but it's a pretty, it's a pretty neat look. I have to say, these are, these are pretty, pretty wicked. So I'm definitely going to have to try these again more uh, in future uh, castings. Let's see if I can get this one out. This one I've only ever used one other time, and again, it did give me a hard time. And I'm not sure if it's because of the shape or because of the size or what the deal was with it. Uh, I just know that it did give me a hard time to come out. These pigments are something else, man. <laughs> or I shouldn't say pigments or alcohol ink. <laughs> Let's see. Can almost 
get some of it to go. Wish I had a dropper in a way, it's because I just drop some in there, but I don't. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to keep doing what I'm doing. It's just it's a matter of getting, getting air down far enough to get it to loosen up. There we go. There we go. Now this one, I remember, it did get too full, and I'm not sure what happened right here at the top, but look at that effect. That is just, that's wicked. I'm surprised that much ink actually made it all the way to the bottom. That is really very shocking. There's even a hole right here. Oh my gosh. So I'm definitely going to have to clean this one up big time. But that's just such a wicked effect. I'm, I love this look. I'm definitely going to have to do that a lot more um, in the future. And I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of this soapy water see how that might help if it might help any on this one but I'm not gonna waste too much time on it either so I'm gonna let that kind of sit so I'm gonna very carefully try to get these three out without disturbing these three too much um, because as I said um, the three the three here they are still curing so hopefully I can get these out. Oh, definitely can get that one out. So we see the back, and it's a pretty neat effect. And see, there's even empty spaces. Didn't intend for that in that ink. Let's look at the front. Oh, my God. Look at that. That is just wicked. I just love that. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, I didn't realize I was off camera. Look at that. That is wicked. Oh my gosh. See how this one did. Okay. Here's a little closer view. This one was just purple. Purple and green, I think. Something like that. There's the front. Purple and green and blue. Yeah. Just nothing but. Beautiful. So you can see a vast difference in the two. You know that god bless those are gorgeous uh i have to say i like this one a whole lot better than i do this one but this one still is gorgeous just as it is you know oh i'm gonna have to keep doing this <laughs> so here's a multicolored one i'm really excited to see this one this one's gonna be really neat oh my gosh look at that i love it I love it. And that one actually, that right here look actually looks kind of peachy instead of orange. Well, it looks orange on camera. It looks peachy to me. But that is just, oh my gosh. That, oh wow. I'm so glad. I have to say I'm so very glad that I got these alcohol inks. And I'm definitely going to have to purchase more, you know, different shades of colors plenty of blues and purples and greens and reds and stuff like that so that's just wicked oh my gosh guys Whew. so lesson has been learned uh demolding spray <laughs> uh don't quite use quite as much white uh because it will make it look a little different uh like this one and this one but then you see the difference of different in effects. Just God bless. Gonna have to experiment more with things like that. And if you want to see the demolding of these other pieces, comment down below and let me know. Because otherwise, if you don't, if, if if I don't get any response, I won't do another demolding video of those. Um, so. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying to the end if you did. Um, if you see in the bottom corner right over here, uh, there's all of my little things, the logos to where I am. I'm selling everything on Etsy now, um, which all of the links will be in the description box below. Um, 
And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do. It helps me out so much just by click, but just by subscribing and liking the videos. Maybe a comment here and there helps so much you don't realize. So, you guys, thank you again for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye-bye.